these flavors and you choose to be salty. What's up, everybody? We're back. Um, it feels like I've been gone way longer than I actually have been. Um, but we're back, and we're going to start playing Salt and Sanctuary. Um, apologies for my voice. Uh, I've been sick for about two weeks now. Um, really sucks. So the Salt and Sanctuary, it's uh, it's very Soulsborne-esque um, instead of... Um, Echoes or souls, you collect salt, um, and you use that salt to purchase things, to level up. When you die, you lose that salt. Um, boss battles are hard, normal enemies can take you down, you level up, you do shit. Parrying is a thing. Um, so, we're gonna jump right into this. New game. Uh, I got an idea. Let's see if it'll fit. Haha, <laughs> it fits. JD Power Hammer. This might make a little bit more sense later on. Uh, you've got some character uh, customization here. We're gonna do uh, off off screen. All right, we are um, we're gonna choose the uh, the chef class. Um, I know that this is uh, the hardest class to start with, um, just because you'd start with no levels. Uh, I think the popper is the same except the popper actually has like uh some weapons and stuff so the chef we're doing it for the lulls uh effects i cannot remember which effect i wanted to fucking use i cannot remember what the amber idol does uh but we're choosing that and we're not doing any challenges so we're venturing forth the world was no. Yes, this world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally and preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we've got a guard stance. We've got attacks. Strong. Light. Um... And like I said, we're we're uh, we're the chef, so we 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 kind of suck really bad right now. Oh, you there, stranger! We've been boarded in the night. <clears throat> they they want to kidnap our lady. Oh, ransom her, protect her. Oh no! And then first battle. Here we go. Parry, smash. Oh, fuck off. Um, so we're on a ship right now, uh, if you can't tell by um, things floating around or bobbing back and forth. Well, damn, I keep trying to parry one of them. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck it, you can just die too, that's cool. Hey! Oh, damn. I don't know if that actually hurts both of them or not. Oh! And we're dead. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I awoke to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. <clears throat> Alright, here we are in all of our chef glory. Um, there's actually, where we just were, there's actually like a boss battle. Um, 
at the end of that you fight this big cthulhu motherfucker um you're you're kind of supposed to die word on the street is you get something for beating um the big cthulhu thing i, I can't remember its name um but i haven't beaten it uh so here we go uh shivering shore and this is the first npc that we meet <coughs> well hello there you're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter, you'll want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary up the beach, you can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? Sure. Most men follow the three deities, the king, the knight, and the judge. The king lends wisdom to men who lead. The knight protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of the three, then? Yes, I most certainly am. You're a follower of the three, as I suspected. Here is a candelabra of the three, icon of your creed. Um, so you can actually choose different gods there, uh, and I'm pretty sure the, um, um, following the three is like the uh, it's like the it's like the middle of the ground you know you're gonna be okay um however uh, or whatever you do um this is some stuff telling us um um uh, controls uh we don't really need them r2 rolls yeah that's a thing um oh i don't wait i don't want to throw potatoes it's not letting me Harry now for some reason come on I just want to I want to get a good like where it's not dark outside show the the parry thing come out oh, you fucks okay well I'm just gonna have to do this one fuckers do I have to be like on the same level Oh, and it's gonna be hidden behind a tree. Well, you smash the head and then like just bash through him, kind of thing. Um, okay, and then there's more stuff. Switch loadouts, switch items. I know how to do this, so I'm not gonna bother reading them. Um, and this, we use a sanctuary, and this opens up to our first sanctuary. We use the D-pad to go to the candelabra, R1 to claim the sanctuary. <clears throat> and we claim this sanctuary so we got three red flasks you can see that up in the top left um, <coughs> those are gonna heal us um, like your Estus flasks or uh, your blood vials um, this pulls heavily heavily uh, from Soulsborne and I'm okay with that um, it, it makes it makes no apologies about it um, yeah, so, we're the chef, so it's kind of boring right now, um, I'm gonna show you this area, and then I'm probably gonna grind a little bit, uh, I'll do that off camera so it's not, ooh, um, over in the left you can see we just got a pouch of salt, um, uh, so you can, it's a consumable, you can crush that and then get more salt, the salt, and, salt and sanctuary is amazing, I agree, giant goddess hole here what, what talking about the JJ's um, so here let me that's okay so the roll by mechanic actually hold on let me just to fucking kill this thing and I'm sorry it, because I'm the chef it takes me a while so the roll by mechanic R2 I can't just run through these things you know, uh, because it's 2D, uh, but R2, you roll through them. It's kind of like a dodge or something. Um, let me see if I can get that. There we go. Smash, bash. See? I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, okay, I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you in here real quick. Uh, also, the, from what I understand, these three people up here, these are... Um, characters that are playing or have played that have died recently. That's that's my understanding. Um, so it's remnants of them. 
All right, so we're gonna go, go in here to the festering banquet, and this is just got a bunch of fucking ghouls, basically. Um, so what I'm gonna do here? Actually, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to heal. Um, damn, I forgot how bad the chef is right in the beginning. Um. So, yeah, see, even bash at him a couple times just doesn't do it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna troll around and I'm going to essentially grind. So this is locked down here. We'll get through that later. Um, there's another one of these fucks up here. Um, and like these are like like entrance ways or doors or whatever. So come over here. I got another patch of salt, but this is locked. We have to get to it from the other side. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to grind a little bit. I'm gonna get some salt, um, and then I'm gonna show you guys the leveling up mechanic because I do want to level up the chef a little bit. He just, he just kind of blows right now, uh, and then we'll continue on, but. We're gonna do that off camera. Oh wait, no, real quick. Uh, circle, kick ladder down. So shortcut unlocked. This will take us. Whoops. There's a way to slide down the ladder. I can't remember. Um, but yeah. So that's just a shortcut, so you don't have to go through that bullshit. Ooh, ooh. I figured it out. Huh. R two. Uh, R two. Slide. Let's see, very, um, very soul sport. Um. All right grinding for a minute and we'll be back all right so we got us some salt got us about 1500 salt we're gonna be running back to our sanctuary um something we did pick up along the way and like i'm actually kind of cutting some of this stuff out because i don't want to uh like i want people to play this game i, I don't i don't want to uh, show them where everything is um so we picked up the rogues set um, so right now we have the chef's set on, obviously, um, but we pick up the rogues. So let's see if you hit square, it will change and tell you um, stat differences plus minus. Um, obviously we are wearing chefs, um, but we got rogues. So I'm not really concerned about lightning, poison, holy, or arcane defense right now. I'm more concerned about um, physical things attacking me with swords and shit and defense so rogue set and if i remember correctly the rogue set is uh better all the way around yeah strike defense 16 versus 28 uh yes some of your lightning poison holy arcane actually all of that 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 is lower but again that's not what we're worried about right now um so and i now have gloves and i'm gonna change over the chef trousers to the chef trousers to um <laughs> rogues high boots we do not have any um new weapons as of yet i think we'll start getting those after the first boss or we might have to no i don't think we'll have to we, we don't we don't have to pull in um the blacksmith or anything uh I'm, I'm pretty sure we can just find some um we did also pick up the bandaged ring uh a ring of powerful healing its wearer may suffer injury but lasting wounds will be made less severe reduces wounding effect um so if i'm understanding this correctly uh in the top left you'll see uh health and stamina health being red stamina being whatever turquoise aquamarine color that is or at least that's what it is on my tv um so when you're wounded it's something like your health won't replenish all the way or something like that um but so this is supposed to help with that instead of such a larger chunk being taken away a smaller chunk should be taken away so i equipped that uh, that's what i understand it is by the way uh, i'm also going to use any salt consumables i have right now just because i'm trying to get some levels um a bundle of salt um oh shit i'm just gonna have to go through my inventory up here to use uh okay so three pouches Assault. Looks like they're gonna be a hundred each. 
and bundle of salt. All right, so we have 2,055 salt right now. Awesome. Let's get to our candelabra and let's level up. Uh, you can use triangle and square to alter the the levels. So we're gonna we're gonna go up to level four. So X to accept. We still have 475 left. Uh, you can also make offerings, these uh, stone things, stone merchant, stone cleric, stone blacksmith. Um, the stone merchant will basically like summon a merchant to this sanctuary. The stone cleric will summon a cleric to this sanctuary. Blacksmith, same thing. And it even tells you it'll give you, um, uh, it'll give you like uh, stat bonuses. Um, so the blacksmith grants attack bonuses to sanctuary region, so whatever region this sanctuary presides over um, grants um, prayer potency bonus and merchant grants gold drop bonus um, so I, I don't I don't really know a lot about them uh, I know they they are there to help you level up your gear I know that um, you can yeah upgrade your stuff you can buy stuff you can sell stuff um, but right now we're gonna check out this tree of skill I don't know how to zoom out, but I've heard that there is a way. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Look, so so just just take. I, I want everybody to take a moment to really look at this and appreciate how fucking crazy this is. But it's actually not. I mean, it looks crazy and potentially complicated, but it's actually not. Um. We are a chef. We need to start out from the beginning right here. We need to put one here. This is also going to grant us an additional healing pouch. Uh, and you can keep putting points into this if you want. Like, I could, I'm pretty sure I could put another point into that. Um, maybe I'm wrong because I'm trying to right now. But I don't know. Maybe, like, if I close that, like, if I accept and then come back. Um, but Word on the Street is that's what you can do. Um,. We're going for uh, hammers and axes, uh, hence the name JD Power Hammer. Um, so I'm going to put a point in Class 1 Berserker. Um, but I also, and that, 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 that also gave me one point in strength. But I also, I, I don't like my stamina where it's at. Um, so willpower increases your maximum stamina. And this, class one assassin, I'm not an assassin, but you know what? I need the willpower so I can have better stamina. So <clears throat> we're putting one there too. Um, and it looks like that's all we can do right now. So we're done. We got the rogue set. We're still, um, we're still wielding. Hold on, just, yeah, no, definitely can't do it can do it okay uh yeah and now okay yeah so now we have our four um we have our four red flasks okay so we're gonna make our way to the first boss and hopefully we're gonna take them out without much uh trouble um uh i also got some torches while i was out and about if you hold uh down on the d-pad it'll light a torch it's really good for uh low light areas obviously but whatever is in your offhand um it gets rid of it uh, so I want to, I want to, yeah, I want to not waste that whole torch. Um, okay, so we got a rogue set. Let's, okay, yeah, see, so now I can get four hits instead of three, like before. So e even just one point in stamina actually really helped me there. Um, I'm trying to remember the quickest path. But I'm not. Ah, crap. I'm not really interested in fighting anybody right now. Although these fucking crows, you know, nothing, Jon Snow. Actually, I don't know if they're crows or bats or what. Yeah, there's that other fucker. <clears throat> uh, and then up here, and then over and across. Um, we just need to get past these guys. We don't have to uh, actually fight them. Although. I maybe would have taken less damage if I actually fought them. Trapped? No, not really. Friendly man up there. Very friendly. 
very, very friendly. This thing is this thing of near guardian. Okay, cool. Um, actually, just in case, I don't know if we'll be able to, but I want to be full health when I go into this. And this should be the first boss. The Sodden Knight. Alright, so... Very Soulsborne. Just like other things. Um, Telegraph moves pretty well. Um, one thing... Just, oh shit. Uh, when they hit, they hit hard. Um, hmm. And one thing that happens, uh, as you progress through the fight, um, they will start to ramp up their attack. Um, they will start to combo into things, they will start to get faster, they will start to get more aggressive. Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm already screwing up pretty hard at this, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Um, you'll hopefully here in a minute see what I'm talking about, about ramping up attacks and comboing. Oh, actually made that. Alright, and also I think its eyes are actually starting to glow now, which I do not think they, they were glowing before. Um, oh shit. Uh, okay, yeah, see, there's one. I mean, I've got shards. Oh, damn, I actually almost rolled right into that. I need to learn, when when he jumps, you can actually just, like, stand by him, and he'll just jump over you. But, I'm not good at the stamina game yet. So... See, there, and there he goes. He turns right around and attacks you again. And there was one of his little combo things. Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm wasting shards. Um. No, I rolled right into that. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> See, look. Confident. I know what the fuck he does. And I still die. <coughs> uh, one of the things I like about this, um, when you die and you respawn, it doesn't take half as long um, to get back. Uh, but we are back, and we're just going to go right back to the Sodden Knight. Uh, ooh, actually, okay, right before we go to the Sodden Knight, this will just make things a lot easier. I was going to wait till after the Sodden Knight to show this, but... So, right out here is where that dog and human, uh, with a... Or... Ghoul, gargle, what? Not gargle, ghoul, whatever. Uh, where the crossbow was. Oh, shit! I forgot about this little fucking asshole. Apologies, little fucking asshole. I forgot about you. So you jump up here, and like you can actually, uh, like when you're standing over here, you can see something off on the right, um, which I think is cool. It kind of gives you a hint. And then, oh, what's this circle? Ta-da! So, uh, from my understanding, this isn't a sanctuary uh, because we can't level up or anything. To me, it seems more like a checkpoint. Uh, just something that. I mean, maybe just so we don't have to run through that little bullshit to get to the boss or something. Um, Alright, so I'm back up to the Sodden Knight. Um, you know, hopefully this is going to go better. I thought I thought the first round went good. By the way, I've beaten the Sodden Knight before. Uh, I have another game that I'm playing this on, just so this doesn't end up being a thing where I just wander around and not know where the fuck I'm going. Or do or what I'm doing, sort of thing. Um, uh, the sudden night killed me 
several times in the beginning. Shit! I did not gauge that properly. Uh, I don't know, maybe about five times or so. Maybe more. We're already doing better. Um, I may have mentioned it last battle. One of my things is watching stamina. I have... I have trouble watching the stamina in this. I'm not sure why. Shit, and see, I don't have any stamina, so I can't roll, and that fucks me. I don't like getting fucked. Not by the sodden knight. Oh, like he just did. That big fucking hammer. Oh! Oh, Jesus, dude. Shit. Yeah, do that again. I know what you do with that. No! Shit, 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 I misgaged it. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it for him. I thought I was gonna be able to take him out right there. No! Let's get one more in. Okay, should be able to get him here. Get him. Boom! Saw the knight fucking down. What does it say? I can't remember what it says here. Vanquished! <laughs> And you know what? It still feels fucking good. Uh, okay, we got the Sudden Knight's Ashes and Fortress Key. Um, inventory. The inventory system for me is not uh, the most amazing thing in the world, but I'm, I'm still I'm still learning it, so I'm not gonna knock it yet or anything. Um, Sanctuary Key. Uh, Fortress Key. A key dropped by the Sudden Knight. So we got that. Um, and down here... Ooh, that's my Amber Idol. Yeah, I want to look at that. Uh, a waxy, pungent idol of Amber Glisten. Amber Glisten? Yeah, Amber Glisten. Uh, Amber Glisten is, a, is as precious as it is rare and is said to be vomited up from the bellies of great kraken. Can be used as a transmutation material. Cool. Uh, probably it's something like um, Ambergris? That's what comes from whales, right? It's from like a fucking octopus beak and it irritates it and it wraps it in a waxy substance or something. Um, uh, Sodden Knight's Ashes. Ashes of the Sodden Knight. His charge was to the, protect the fortress that uh, became known as the Festering Banquet. When and how the fortress became a cursed place of shambling monsters remains a mystery. Can be used as transmutation material or exchanged with a leader. Um, so, from what I understand, you get things, maybe not from all bosses, but at least some, um, that you can turn into weapons or stuff. Um, so that's very Dark Souls-ish, um, and I'm excited about that, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Uh, we also got a Rotten Walker's Ear at some point, and it apparently can be used as transmutation material or exchange with the leader. I'm, I'm really not gonna go through and read all the item descriptions, um, like I did in the, uh, Going in Blind Bloodborne thing, but I just wanna keep you guys aware, um, we have throwing daggers, and Bell of Return will take you back to where you rested at most recently, basically. Um, but it is a consumable, so if I use it, it's gone. I mean, you'll you'll get more later, but if I use it, it's gone. Um, we have 1,600 more salt. We are gonna go level up, and we'll cut right to that. All right, back at our sanctuary and leveling up. Oh, we can do two levels up to level six. Awesome! I really like the animation and the artwork um, in this game. I th I just think it looks great. Like when you level up and you get that little flash of the tree or whatever. That I think that looks absolutely amazing. Um, okay, tree of skill. Oh, oh, oh! Look, it's another person. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, buddy. <laughs> They're gone. Um, I've actually seen that. Uh, I've seen that happen before. Um, from what I can understand, it's only uh, in the sanctuary settings. 
you, you can't interact with them or anything, but they could just, you'll see them just come in and do stuff. I don't know if it's actually another person playing the game while I'm playing it, or, or if it's just put in there, but I would like to believe it's somebody actually playing the game. Um, okay, so we do want to up strength. Okay, armor. I'm not so concerned about armor right now, but we do want to up our strength because that's going to help with our hammers and maces. And I'm going to go ahead and up endurance. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not concerned about endurance right now. I kind of want to up strength again, so I can either put another class in there, or I can. No, I don't want to do short sword. It's dex based weapons, willpower. I'm gonna do class one hunter because I want something else that's gonna up my stamina. Um, because that's my big thing right now. I want more stamina. So, I mean, like, I don't know if I'm actually doing this right. I'm, I'm guessing at this skill tree, but like, I know what I want to do. I want, I want stamina. I want strength, endurance. Um, and so that's what the fuck I'm going for. Um, all right, I'm gonna show you where we're going next. We'll just cut to it, but then we're gonna call it quits. All right, so right out here with dog and thing. And there's this fucker I always forget about. And if you go up here, you get to the Sodden Knight. So right there is our little secret area. And just in case we die, we'll go ahead and rest here again. And that'll be fine. Um, so right here is a ladder. We'll go down it. You know, we'll go ahead and hop right up here. Grab whatever this is. Uh, journey bottle. Oh, I think this is this is what helps us, um, or not helps us. It allows us to communicate with the other people. Uh, a glass bottle, some parchment, and an ink stone pencil. The bottle seems uncertain about remaining in this universe. So yeah, the little things that we're seeing everywhere. Um, that's that's how we do that. All right, and we're gonna open this gate. This is back in the Festering Banquet, or I guess this is all still the Festering Banquet. Um, we got Mend, which I think is a spell or uh, a prayer. And here we just used the Fortress Key, so that unlocked this area. Um, uh, I want to talk to him, but I don't know. Let's just go ahead and talk to him. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Do you have a quest? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to find a princess? Yes, I do. Rescuing a princess. Hey, I was right. Rescuing a princess. Hmm. I haven't seen any princess, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Sure, why the fuck not, dude? Excellent. My quest is to invade the castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. Castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain. It must enter there. I mean, I guess. Oh, there's more dialogue. <laughs> Fucking Soulsborne. <laughs> Getting into the castle is a different story. There's a bridge to it, but it's missing bits. There's another way in, but it's not easy. I saw a passage beneath the fortress you just emerged from. Perhaps it leads through to a village of sorts. Oops. There was a shortcut connected to the beach. There was a shortcut that connected the beach to the village, but it's been barred. Perhaps you can unlock it. I've heard of something about a jester. The jester knows a way to get to places no one else can. Oh, fuck. I don't want to read all this. I mean, that's you guys, but... It's easy to claim something uh, until you can actually back up your claims. Um... You're just a rumor monger. It's easy to claim something. It's easy to claim something. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So this, this, this is where we're going to be going next time. Um, I'm keeping these episodes short, guys. Um, so I hope that they are easily digestible. Um, but this is where we're going to be ending it. Yeah. 
will be back hopefully soon since these are short i'm hoping that i can um i'm hoping that i can put out i mean at least once a week i'd really like to be able to put out two a week um but we'll see how that goes um everybody have a good day have a good night whatever uh if you're playing salt salt and sanctuary enjoy it um you can play along with us we can play with each other it's totally not gay um click my face at the top of the screen that'll subscribe you to the channel and i'm gonna put some videos off to i think they're gonna be on this side now um uh check those out uh, hopefully you enjoy them um leave some comments ask some questions share on social media um thank you everybody and we'll see you next time